What do you do, man? Nation season four is finally here. The patch notes for the update is out. You can click on the link below in the description. I'm mainly going to focus on the weapon changes and the update and a few other things New for today's video beginning. and everything else that I don't cover in this video. I'll make a separate video for. So first off, once you log in this week, you will see the anniversary gift of an origami flyer charm, a loyalty badge and 10 and 10,000 XP for your first match of the day. And next are changes to the loot with the, with a new type of ammo for snipers. And so now the Sentinel, the Longbow, the Trooper Take, and the Charge Rifle, they now take sniper ammo and a new sniper extended magazine. So no longer will like the Longbow will require heavy ammo. And also energy ammo now gives you 30 ammo per pickup instead of 20. Now, which was a, a quite a bit surprise to me was the turbocharger hop up and extended energy mags are now removed and a gold backpack UI update as well. Iron sights have now been updated for quite a lot of weapons so that iron sights properly stay centered now and for the remaining iron sights they'll be updated later on in the season. So the updated iron sight weapons include the longbow, the triple take, the charge rifle, the havoc, the R301, the Flatline, the Spitfire, the R99, the Austinator, the Mozambique, the Massive, the RE45, and the Wingman. Now going back to the G7 Scout, it was removed from the Sniper category now to the Assault Rifle category. It only accepts uh, AR optics and attachments, has reduced fire rate from 4.5 to 4.0, and increased time between shots for the double tap. And now the L-Star is no longer a crate weapon and not can be found around the map. And it takes energy ammo reloading has been removed but the l style will still overheat after sustained fire and nerves to the damage per shot from 19 to 18 and rate of fire decreased from 12 to 10. and also now the devotion is now a great weapon to replace the l star which is now an interesting change to see we're now with devotion being a great weapon instead of being a map weapon because obviously it was a very powerful weapon when fully equipped with the uh, turbocharger. Now with the removal of the turbocharger, the Havoc now has reduced horizontal recoil. It still can equip select fire, but also has decreased time between shots using the select fire as well. The R99 now has damage nerf from 12 to 11 per shot and increased max size for the base, common, and rare magazines. The Prowler has increased damage per shot from 14 to 15 and the Hemlock has increased single shot rate from 5.6 to 6.4. Now the Wingman size magazines except for common have been changed its base now from 4 to 5, rare 8 to 7, and epic 10 to 8. That's an interesting change as well to the Wingman and we'll see how that plays out for this season. What it played will still use it. Um, you know, what do you see as, as a nerf or a buff we'll soon find out. The evade delay using the double tap now has been reduced. A fixed exploit of the rapid fire with the massive has been fixed as well. And now gold weapons now include the Havoc, P2020, the Sentinel, Prowler, and now the R301. Changes to Bloodhound's ult now includes when you down a player you get extra 5 seconds added to the Beast of the Hunt ultimate and exceeding star time with successful kills. And Crypto's EMP drone no longer destroys friendly Gibby shields. It can no longer kindly or carry friendly Gibby Dome shield. So that's it for today's video. A very quick video about the patch update. I'm about to hop into Apex Legends Season 4 myself. And again, everything that I didn't mention in the video, uh, you can read the patch notes fully below. And everything else like like Remnant's abilities, I'll make my own video on a separate video about you know his abilities and like the Sentinel, etc. So make sure you guys be on the lookout for that in the coming days and also weeks. Alright guys, so make sure you comment down below and what you think about season four. If you enjoy this comment, just leave a like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later, Mirror Nation. Peace.